So one of my favorite things to do when coding is uh, making a program repeat until the user quits. Um, and by my favorite, I mean from a learning standpoint. It's, it's just a nice way to kind of get a grip on how things happen, and uh, it has the benefit of not making me type the same code over and over again when I'm testing. Um, and so to do that, typically I'll use the while true command. While true is a great command inside of Python. Um, so let's take a look at that. We can see I've got my main setup. So the while true, it's the very first thing I'm gonna do, while true. And what this does is this says, to repeat this code block, code until it's explicitly quit. All right, it's gonna keep repeating forever until something happens to make it stop repeating, something specific, explicit, or I write something wrong and it explodes in my face, but we won't think about that. All right, so let's start with um, something usually pretty easy here. I'm just gonna just take a number here and uh, I'm gonna just drop this in to make my life easy. I'm gonna enter a number between one and 10. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's a little long. Let's see if I can drag this over. Any other number to quit. That's a really long piece of code. So before I do that, let's break this piece up just a bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of my stuff in here. It's a neat trick that you're, you're kind of learning on the fly here. And I'm gonna just print that. We'll call that bonus um, for watching the video. So if you've been watching my other videos, you know that I always put something inside my input. Uh, it turns out it's not actually necessary. I can do all kinds of interesting things uh, to make everything go where I want it to go. And uh, if you, I'll make sure there's some other videos to show how I just did that if you haven't seen it already. Uh, I want my code. All right, so let's go ahead and let that crash so my code will pop up. There we go. All right, so you can see now I've done this cute little formatting thing uh, that you can find out. Just go back and watch the formatting videos and I'll show you how some of that can be done. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and comment this. Pass user for input values, that's what it does. And then this next one actually accepts. On the keyboard. And uh, signs number two variable. That'll work for now. All right. So we can see that we've got this. We'll test it just to make sure I didn't break anything. And uh, yep, enter a number to four, quit. And if I put in a four, that's great. It's just gonna keep doing that over and over and over and over forever. Why is it gonna do it forever? Well, because I just said this will continue to run this block of code until explicitly quit. All right, so how do I quit? All right, so the easiest way to quit is use this word called break, all right? If I want this to stop, I can just put a break in. Now, right now, it's gonna quit right after the first time. Oops, let's put that up high where we can see it. So I put in a number four and then it quits because it hits this break command. The break says stop, right? That's my explicit quit. But of course, the whole point of while true is I want it to keep asking, right? Until I get what I want. So let's add another thing in here, let's add a question. If user number is equal to, uh, what do I need? I need it to be in a range. Um, so an easier way might be say, I just want it to be in range. And give it a range, I want it to be between the numbers one and 11, right? Why one to 11? Because we go to, not through, I almost said that backwards, right? So it's gonna go to 10 or to 11, but it's gonna stop. So it's gonna one through 10. And if it's in that range, what do I wanna do? Well, I don't wanna do anything, right? I'm gonna say that's great. All right? 
But if it's not in range, oops, I have a hardest time typing some days. If it's not in range, I'm gonna say else. Break. All right, so let's see what happens here. Enter a number between one and 10. One, cool, two, yep, 10, awesome. If I put in an 11, it quit, right? And I could put a nice little quick command in there. Oops, let's put that in quotes. Of course, I always wanna make sure that I'm commenting, right? Uh, terrible English, but I don't want to take a whole lot of time. Um, and then that's pretty good. All right, so there you go. That's a super easy way to make a program run. And keep in mind that you can do this multiple times if you need code blocks to run more than once. Anytime you need to test something over and over again, uh, while true is a great way to do that. And of course, if you put all of your control inside of a while true loop, then the whole program will continue to run until you come up with some way to make it quit.